Okay, so to begin this question, let's look here. They want us to write a linear equation that expresses the relationship between the temperature in degrees C and Fahrenheit F. Use the fact that water freezes at 0 C, which is 32 Fahrenheit, and boils at 100 Celsius, which is 212 Fahrenheit. All right, so we need to first establish what is Y and what is X in this problem. So it's actually not very clear here uh, which one is X and Y, to be honest. Um, normally when they say a problem like this, they can tell you to find uh, an equation for Fahrenheit in terms of Celsius. So when they say write or, or find or write an equation for Fahrenheit in terms of Celsius, that's what they should say here. So essentially what we need to know here is that Y is Fahrenheit and our X is C. And the reason that's important is because we need to go find slope. All right, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And so it's ambiguous here, unless you think this through about which ones are the Y's and which ones are the X's. But in this case, Fahrenheit is the Y. So let's start with Fahrenheit. Our first, our second Fahrenheit we'll call this 212. And our first Fahrenheit is 32. Our first Celsius is, our second Celsius is 100. And our first Celsius number is zero. So we get 180 over 100. And when we simplify that down, 20 goes into both those numbers and we get the slope is 9 fifths. Now we can use the point slope form. And so there's the point slope form that we know from our formula sheet and that kind of thing. And now we know slope is 9 fifths here. That was our slope. So we're going to write y minus y1. And we said y1 was our Fahrenheit for the first number. And that's that 32 equals m 9 fifths times x minus an x1 we said was 0 degrees C. So just x minus 0. So we get y minus 32 equals 9 fifths x. And so 9 fifths times 0 over there, that doesn't, or the 0 just isn't there really. And so now we add 32 to both sides. And so we get y equals 9 fifths x plus 32. And for this problem, just so you know, they want you to use C and F. And WebAssign is going to be picky about that. So we said y was my Fahrenheit. So let's switch y to be Fahrenheit and X is C. And that's how we get the relationship that we may have already known that the relationship between Fahrenheit and Celsius to get Fahrenheit from Celsius is 9 fifths times the Celsius temperature plus 32.